But welcome back inside the Hall of Fame. The Hall of Famer himself, fresh off a beer bash with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Booker T's back on the line. What's going on, Book? Yeah, hey, man, I'm a little dressed in beer right now, but they say beer is good for the hair. You know what I mean? So <laughs> might help my dress grow a little bit longer, but uh, yeah. <laughs> is that what they say? So cool, <laughs> hey, man, that's all. That's awesome. I mean, we saw a lot of legends in the ring right there. You, Hogan, Flair. Uh, uh, I saw you on stage, though, interestingly enough, talking to Mark Henry. I mean, well, I mean well, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I got with him. Uh, I, had to, I had to get with him about that placement on the um on the list as far as putting me at number seven yeah that's the first thing we talked about when he got to the to the arena here tonight uh, we almost got into a little scuffle um but uh he, he was actually you know um trying to you know explain you know why i was at number seven he said it was actually a misprint i was actually supposed to have been number five you know so um he somewhere somebody screwed up i think maybe because carlos cologne was in there uh <laughs> <laughs> that might have threw the rotation off. All right, well, I'm, so, I'm glad now you've made it to the top five. Eventually, we'll yeah, get you yeah, to I mean, the top I'm spot. Five. I'm, I'm, I'm hovering, you know what I mean? So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it was awesome, man. You know, the Raw Reunion, uh, so Cold Steve Austin come out and couldn't have been a better, uh, you know, superstar from back in the day who did so much other than Stone Cold Steve Austin come out and, you know, cap that night off and put a stamp on it, you know, tie it up with a nice little bow for the fans, you know, especially with the... You know, the what chance, you know what I mean? All hell, yeah, you know, as far as the beer goes. Yeah, yeah, it was just an awesome, awesome deal, man. Just like Steve said there, uh, it's my family, man. You know what I mean? We've, we've gone down the road. We've traveled down the road. You know, we've spent so many nights together. And then actually be able to come out, you know, come hang out for one night and, and, and tell the old stories. You know, that's really what it's all about. You know, and that's the that's the heritage of the business. That's what that's the lifeblood of, of the business and that's why I love it so much and that's why I'm gonna always continue to protect it, you know what I mean? Um when I when I hear certain things or when certain people say certain things because this business is um definitely uh, a brotherhood as well as a sisterhood and uh, we wanna keep it that way. Man, you know, I mean that that's awesome to hear. I mean and it's great I think for us as fans to watch and see you know, not only everybody back, but everybody in good spirits. You know, you always think that sometimes, like, you know, you hear about the grizzled old vets, you know, you know, back in my day. But it, it is great to see everybody coming back and really, you know, coming back to support the new generation. I mean, that's, I mean, that's in part why you're there. It's not just to hang out. It's also to, you know, be in the same scenes, be in the same room, be in the same ring as some of the younger guys. And we talked about, I think, last week or, or maybe the week before, getting that rub, right? I mean, if you're, if you're on camera with a Booker T or a Hulk Hogan or a Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know, you might get get a little bit of a rub and and that helps the young guys too yeah yeah that's exactly what it's about uh you know giving the young guys a chance to you know hang out network and you know hopefully pick the brains of uh you know guys like stone cold Shawn michaels you know uh guys that they don't see around around here on a regular basis like myself they see me all the time so it's a little different but um a lot of these uh, legends that's coming in you know they'll get a chance to actually see all the time as kevin you know, the Xbox of the world who's, um, you know, given so much and made the business, you know, uh, you know, a better place for everyone. Pick those guys' brain, man. See exactly, you know, how did a, a small, smaller guy like Xbox, you know, make it to the top tier? You know, uh, figure out, you know, what Kevin Nash did to become, you know, one of the best big men in the business. You know, get, you know, pull Shawn Michaels aside and say, you know, I mean, they get this. Of course, you're Mr. WrestleMania, but tell me, how can I be Mr. WrestleMania? You know what I mean? That That's what I think um, we're here for. But if no one asks us, uh, say anything about it uh, to us, you know, we, we're just going to keep on rolling. We're not going to impose on the, on, on, the, on the youth of today because sometimes they feel like, you know, we could be stepping on their toes. I feel like we're trying to come back and take a spot or something like that. So we just try to, um, you know. Let them know that hey, we're here for you, man. Uh, 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 the ladies as well. We're here for you guys. Just, just uh, lean on us, and hopefully, we can help you out a little bit. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting you bring that up. I think that sometimes it's a two way street, right? Sometimes the the young guys uh, are afraid to ask, right? Because they they don't want to get maybe even shot down or something like that. And then, like you said, you don't want to step on their toes, so you don't want to offer them a piece of advice unsolicited because they're like, oh, man, this this guy, you know, who thinks that he knows better than me is coming in. But it is good that y'all are all together. And like you said, they have the, the opportunity. That's what everything's about. It's about having the opportunity 
to go out there and ask somebody something or get a tip or, you know, open your ears. You know, God gave you two ears and, and, and one mouth for a reason, right? Listen as much, listen twice as much as you talk. And uh, yeah, I think absolutely. that in, in wrestling, that's big. I mean, that was the first thing that I was told. I don't remember who said it at Reality Wrestling. They said, hey, man, keep your ears open and your mouth closed and you might learn something.